What is going on guys? Big Boy here from Big Boy Break Reviews. And got a little bit of a different one. This is, as usual, an e-liquid review. But this is an e-liquid review of a brand new up and coming place called Lifeguard Vapes. <clears throat> and I've, saw, I've talked with the guy, I really have, and I've asked him if it would be okay for me to do a little bit on the juice, and you know, he gave me the thumbs up to do it. So, today, what I'm doing is I am reviewing, let's see, Watermelon Blizzard. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera, from Lifeguard Vapes. Now, he does have a online store, and... God, it's getting hot, my bad. And honestly, you know, I've checked it out, I've looked at it, and it's, for somebody who's just up and coming, he's doing pretty good for himself. Now, Watermelon Blizzard is, as it says, watermelon with a hint of menthol. And I'm gonna just go ahead, jump into it. I've got it on my Vandy Vape Pulse BF with the Vandy Vape 24 millimeter RDA. I mean, there's not much to say, but it's pretty damn good. I mean, it's, I've got it at three milligrams of nicotine. It's 70-30 mix. And you know, it's watermelon with a menthol, but it's not that almost medicine tasting menthol. It's actually that smooth, you don't taste menthol, but you get that cooling effect on the end of it. And it works well on the bandy vape. And it even works well in the more common Tia V8 or Tia V12. I've got one, I just don't know where it's at. And on both of them, Tank and Squawk, there's, no, there's not much difference in the taste. This one being a V8 with a bigger coil, it is a little more muted on the flavor, but the flavor is still there. You're still getting a nice smooth hit. And honestly guys, on a scale of one to 10, this is probably an eight. One, because I'm big on menthol. Y'all y'all know that, sorry about dropping my controller. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not a lot to say on the bad side. I mean, I can't find something bad about this e-liquid. It's just, I've always loved Keep It 100's Watermelon Slushy, so, no, that's, uh, yeah, that's Keep It 100, if I'm not mistaken, so, it's overall, it's just smooth, I mean, I'm vaping at 50 watts, I'm gonna bump it up to 60 real quick. And it's still, it's just a well, it's a well-made flavor. He hand mixes everything. None of this stuff comes pre-made. He hand mixes all his e-liquids. And it's just, you can tell, I let it steep for about a week before I started this video just to let the flavor, you know, build itself up. I mean, either way you vape it, whether you're a fan of the RDAs, this one, I've got a simple clap, dual clap and build, and it works well with this little mod. I've got no issues with it. And it's just, it's smooth. It's crisp, it's not overpowering with the menthol, the watermelon's nice and smooth, it's not a candy, it's more actual like natural watermelon. You know, like I said, I just can't find something I hate about it. I mean, and honestly, 
which, yes, I'm being biased, but at the same time, I'm doing it from an honest perspective. I bought that e-liquid just to test it out, to give them a try, and honestly, I'm going back to them because it's, it's amazing. Anyways, guys, this is <laughs> Big Boy here. I'm ranting now for Big Boy Rape Reviews, reminding you to vape on, vape strong, and as always, we've still got a fighting chance against the FDA. So, as always, be proud of who you are. Because we're a nation that is not defined by big tobacco.